These days, everyone is discussing IPO allocations. IPOs are a popular topic among investors because they offer a special chance to invest in a company's early stock market journey. In India, there are different IPO categories designed for various types of investors, each with its own unique features and allocation methods. This article will delve into these IPO categories for Indian investors. The retail individual investor category is for individuals and families in India and abroad who invest less than Rs 2 lakhs in an IPO. In this category, at least 35% of IPO shares are reserved and investors can bid at the cutoff price. If the IPO is not oversubscribed, all applicants get full allotment. If oversubscribed, a lottery system ensures each applicant receives at least one lot, regardless of the number of lots applied for. The non-institutional bidders NII category is for investors, including individuals, entities and high net worth individuals who invest more than Rs 2 lakhs in an IPO. Notably, NII investors are not allowed to bid at the cutoff price. When it comes to allotment, if the IPO is not oversubscribed, all NII applicants receive a full allotment. However, in the event of oversubscription, the allotment depends on the availability of equity shares in the NII portion. The NII category has two subcategories, small NII, SNII or SHNI, for investors bidding between rupees 2 lakhs to rupees 10 lakhs and big NII, BNII or BHNI, for those investing more than rupees 10 lakhs. In both subcategories, if the IPO is not oversubscribed, full allotment is made to all applicants. If oversubscribed, the allotment is based on the availability of shares in the respective portion, similar to the RII category. QIDs include public financial institutions, commercial banks, mutual funds, and foreign portfolio investors. These institutions must be registered with SEBI to apply in the QIB category. A substantial 50% of the IPO offer is reserved for QIBs. Allotment is proportionate to the bid amount. QIBs are not eligible to bid at the cutoff price and cannot withdraw their bids once placed. Anchor investors are QIBs that apply for Rs 10 crores or more in an IPO. They invest through the book building process before the IPO hits the market to boost investor confidence. Up to 60% of the QIB category can be allocated to anchor investors. The anchor investor offer price is determined separately and their bid offer period differs from other categories. In the Nexus Select Trust IPO, the allocation of shares is distributed among different investor categories. Anchor investors are allotted 14 the 39,099 850 shares, constituting 43.7% of the total shares offered. Qualified institutional buyers, QIB, receive 10, 10, 52, 450 shares, making up 30.7% of the total shares. The remaining category, referred to as other shares, is assigned 8, 42, 10, 600 shares, representing 25.6% of the total shares available in the IPO. Together, these categories account for the entire offering of 32, 92, Sykes 2, 900 shares. In conclusion, Indian IPOs offer a variety of categories to cater to the diverse needs and preferences of investors. Understanding these categories is crucial for making informed investment decisions. Whether you are a retail investor, high net worth individual or institutional buyer, there is an IPO category tailored to your investment goals.